welcome to the kind of video which I don't do very much, but we're in search of pike in the biggest lake in England, the beautiful Windermere. I don't often film on such big fishing campaigns, as I really love to focus on the fishing when on such wild unknown venues, but I really enjoyed managing to capture one such session for you on this stunning Lake District morning. Hello and welcome to a beautiful morning on Lake Windermere and today we're dead baiting for pike. Now we're bank fishing today, uh, we haven't brought the boat down, we're going to try uh, a swim that is already on YouTube so I can't get into trouble for putting this one on uh, on YouTube. We've got a beautiful morning, if I just flip that camera around, I've got two rods out off the shelf. Beautiful swim here just on sunrise and I'm going to get the third rod out now. I'll talk to you a little bit about the rigs and stuff quickly um, but I am keen to get that third rod out so we'll do it quick. Well I'm talking fast because I'm keen to get this rod out but there's the rig. Um, I've got a stem on there to lift the line a little bit clear of any potential rubbish on the bottom <coughs> and the lead is uh, paper clipped on there so that should that paper clip should pull free if I do get snagged and then I've gone for a hole smelt there. Dead simple rig Lucky I'm not having to use snag leader here because I can see it's snag free. So let's get this rod out. Well, I feel a bit better now. I've got all the rods out. I've got one out to my left here. That centre rod goes straight out into the middle of the lake and I've got this rod on the right just on the corner, right on the corner of that jetty. Um, the right hand rod is the shallowest. That rod that's gone out into the middle went miles down. That, that feels like it's probably in about 30 to 40 feet and then the left hand rod's pretty deep as well probably 25 to 30 feet I, I actually wore waders because I thought I'd be able to wade out and cast a bit further but if you actually look this swim is just like a cliff off there um, to the rocks on the bottom so I think I'd be swimming if I fell off there so waders weren't the one but never mind it's a beautiful day just to be fishing As this rather chaotic clip shows, the right hand rod received a tape while my drone was in the air, so as line was peeling from the spool, I was desperately trying to land the drone to avoid deep hooking the pike, but luckily we could soon hit the fish without leaving it for too long. Well, we've had an early success guys. Um, there's a perfect rock pool here that I'm actually managing to sort of recover the pike in. Um, it, was a, it was a crazy hectic fight because I had the drone up when the rod went off and I was scared that if I left it too long this fish would swallow the bait. But there, we've got a beautiful golden Windermere pike. That's a fish probably I would say seven and a half, eight pounds. Um, I'm not going to weigh it, but it's a lovely fish. Pro probably seven and a half is fair for that. And doesn't it look awesome in the morning light? 
I'm really pleased with that. I'll show you the other side of the fish. We'll take a quick still and then make sure we get this one back. Easy fella. There we go. Luckily, it wasn't even nearly deep hooked. That both the hooks were right on the point of the of the nose, so I was probably lucky to get it in because I had a bit of trouble netting it down there actually. But yeah, beautiful fish. Really happy with that. Let's get it back. Something definitely pulled that one out of the clip. That you can probably see on the on the camera that was going a little bit, but what I think that was was an eel because there was just no mark on that bait. This happens a lot on Windermere. I've been warned about this, but yeah, we, we didn't strike into a fish then, as you probably saw. But I, I suspect when you miss him, it's an eel, so I don't feel too too upset. Well, not long after that first fish, I've been lucky enough to pick up another. This is a great day for me on Windermere. I, I don't really do that well often on here. It's a very similar fish. I was even wondering as if it was a, the same fish, but I don't think it is. Again, a fish of, of around six or seven pound. I'm not gonna weigh this one, but really pleased with that one. Again, he was just nicked on the top treble and the bottom treble was in his mouth but it had fallen out in the net so I got lucky with that one. Yeah, really pleased with this fish and I'm going to get a quick still of this one and then get him back. There we go, lovely Windermere pike. That's that's the calibre of fish you, you like to catch in this place. Beautiful pike. Now this one is super well recovered so I know I can just slip him over the, the side of the net here, being careful. And he'll go away absolutely fine. Oh, he's flipping. Yeah, that fish is well recovered. Really good. Finally just got to sort of chill out for a minute. Um, the rods have stopped going off. I think that that morning feeding spell is over now and we're going to have a, a lull through midday, but I've been wrong before. Really nice to pick up two fish uh, on a session. 
just not blanking on a two day session is, is good for me at the moment so I'll take two fish in the first morning um, I am beginning to wonder I've had six or seven fish on Windermere now and they've all been single figure fish um, it, it would be nice to pick up a double and then start thinking about 20s um, I watched a video, I don't know if any of you ever seen it, Lake Escapes when uh, Gore Burton's giving it the whole you know you catch 10 fish in a week and half of them will be 20s or he says something like that but I can't even get a double but I, I can't complain at the quality of this fish and I, I love being on these big lakes and catching these these wild pike so yeah I'm having fun right now I just thought at this point in the video I'd better give a shout out to uh, Harry from Bang Average Fishing who a lot of people probably watch if you don't watch Bang Average Fishing and uh, Adventure Fishing UK they're both quite savvy up here in the Lake District and they put a lot of fish on the bank so worth watching those channels if you like this kind of thing but this is a uh, this is a spot I haven't personally found. Uh, Harry found it from Bang Average Fishing and I like the look of it. And he said, yeah, just go down and fish it and uh, have a good day. So I did just want to do a little shout out because uh, it's done the business today, Harry. So thanks for letting me fish your mark. If you have liked this video and you, you do think I'm fishing well, please just do me a massive favor. Just hit that subscribe button just there because I was awful for doing it. I used to just watch loads of videos, never subscribed. And now I actually have a channel, I'd quite like subscribers, so if you could hit the subscribe if you haven't already, it would help me out big time. Um, if you don't think I'm fishing well or you don't think I've got this quite right, please feel free to shoot me some advice because I'm, I'm very new to, to waters of this size. Um, and I'm, you know, any advice is, is welcome. But hopefully we're getting something right. Well, just going to recast these rods now. I feel like we've got to the end of that sort of midday lull, you know, midday early afternoon I never tend to get many bites then and we're approaching the time when you know all the hire boats will go all the ferries will stop running all this it'll quieten down and I think there might be a chance of an evening bite in that period so I want the rods positioned and ready for that to happen I then received another clip out just at the prime bite time and I thought I might have had my third pike of the day on. Right guys, well we've got the burgers going now, we've got the rods reset and I've, uh, I've just had a take and I got to the rod and the line was just peeling off the spool. We're in business, this is a pike. I didn't think it could be anything else the way the line was going. And I got it back in and the smell was absolutely mangled and the trace was completely tangled up and that's a surefire sign of an eel. So we are getting bothered by eels as suspected. Um, and that will increase, I suspect, as the light drops. But hopefully there'll be a pike amongst them. I do think eels will feed more now, but I also think pike will feed more, so yeah. Well guys, I don't think um, I'm going to film tomorrow just because it's super rough. I'll be tucked away in the bivvy and uh, probably the, the camera's storage will be full. But I was just thinking if, if any of you have fished Windermere, because I'm going to share this on some pike groups. If any of you have had a, like a really red letter day on here, you've had some 20s, you've had a 30, but whatever. If you've just had a really good story, I don't need to know where you were, what you were doing, any tips. But will you just pop it in the comments below for me? if. Uh, if you've had a day like that because I always hear stories of this infamous water and like how super good Windermere is but to me it, it just seems super hard I mean I've had like a good day today whatever happens 
but two jacks for me is a win on Windermere. I'm hoping we get another fish um, tonight, but if not, no worries. I'm sure we'll get more runs, whether there'll be eels or not, I don't know, but yeah, at least we've got some burgers to enjoy now while we're, uh, while we're fishing. Let's see if I can get this eaten before the next run. Cheers. Potentially, that might be it guys. So I thought I'd better do uh, an outro now. I've still got the rods in the water, but I'll, I'll fish into darkness where I won't really be able to film. So I'll manage to film if I get a fish, but if not, that's probably gonna be it. Um, I thought I'd get more runs. I was hopeful for an evening feeding spell, but who knows whether it'll come or not. If it doesn't, then thank you very much for watching my video and I hope to see you next time. See ya.